trying to become the fifth Singaporean to win the 200 meters butterfly and follow in the footsteps of Alex Chan, Roy Chan, Ku Teng Chuan and Joseph Schooling. There's a huge gap there, I know. It's because before Joseph won, Singapore did not win in this event for 36 years. And then in 2011, Southeast Asia received a butterfly schooling, which has ebbed right through to 2017 and probably the rest of this decade. So here they come, Ong Jun Yi in lane number one, a 16-year-old who won the Singapore National Age Group Champs with a time of 201.21. Kwa Tung Wen, the hot favorite, 156.76, remember his best time this year, swam at the World Champs where he missed the semifinals by 0.05 seconds. Jesse Lacuna of the Philippines in lane number three, the national champion. In lane number four, Navafat Wong Charon of Thailand, the national record holder, 200.84 is his national record. He was fourth in this event in 2015. Fang De Tia of Malaysia. The last time Singapore did not win this event, it was Malaysia that won it. It was a certain Daniel Bago back in 2009. Nguyen Ngoc Huyen of Vietnam in lane number six. Vietnam haven't meddled in this since 2009. Kitia Tanakrit of Thailand in lane number seven. He was third at the Asian Youth Games behind Kwa Tung Wen, who was the winner. Huynh Mandat of Vietnam in lane number eight, completing the field. Joe Schooling's record is 155.73, and that is also the national record that Tung Wen will be going after trying to become only the second Southeast Asian after Joe to dip below 156 that he almost did at the Olympic Games so remember Kwa Tung Wen in lane number two Jin Yi in one Lakuna of Philippines in three Wong Charon of Thailand who went out very quickly in the heats this morning in four the Tia of Malaysia in five Ngoc Quinn of Vietnam in six Takantana Krit of Thailand in seven and Mandat of Vietnam in lane number eight. Kwa Tung Wen has gotten off to a flyer literally and this is where he usually does most of his work off the wall. Lovely underwaters, breakout absolutely superb for Kwa Tung Wen and just off the wall alone he has taken a body length lead ahead of the rest of the field, ahead of his compatriot Ong Jin Yi already. He has, I mean... <clears throat> We saw it off the start, um, Zhong used his 15 meters underwater, as I mentioned earlier, that's where his strength is. He's used it to his full advantage. And then, interestingly, now we see in lane one, Jing Yi, right, um, following Joseph, uh, following Chen Wen. So hopefully, um, you know, Jing Yi, this is his first SEA Games, that he can keep it up. Um, obviously, that's his first 100. Um, hopefully, he can continue to, at this pace to get, get a medal. Well, Zheng Wen knows he's going to destroy this field as he is and now after the halfway stage of this race. He still has the 4x100 meters freestyle relay to come. Do you think he's going to hold anything back or is he going to go after this record? I think he's going to go after the record. I think this might be, if I'm not wrong, this might be the first time he's swimming the 200 meter butterfly at the SEA Games as his first event during a, a, a single day, right? Um, in the past when he's swimming the 200 butterfly, he's always had another event before that. So, um, you know, this is his first chance to really prove what he can do and I think he's going for the record. I don't think he's going to hold back anything. Well, Jinny has gassed out a little bit now in the last 50 meters and because of that, he ceded second spot to Vietnam's Nguyen. At the moment though, no one's catching Kwa Tung Wen who's got the record in his sights. 155.73, that is what he is after. Does he have enough though? Jin Yi is coming back strong. Well, he's got to hold on now because the rest are catching up. Kwa Tung Wen does not break the record. He goes for the time of 157.95 and Jin Yi just misses out on the middle. But Kwa Tung Wen, an easy winner as we expected in this event. 157.95. I really feel for Ching Yi over in lane one. He, he, he looked like he was on pace coming second. I think he had a very bad touch. Um, and we saw the other two competitors, uh, you know, reach the wall before he did. I mean, he did everything he within his power to, to be in that second spot position. But it's such a pity that something as critical as, you know, touching the wall um, on the right aspect, he missed out on that. And Kwa Tung Wen has won the 200 meters of butterfly. And that gold medal now moves him to seventh on the all-time list. It's his seventh gold medal 
actually it moves him to six on the all-time list side by side with a certain Roy Chan who used to dominate this event how apt it's also Tsung Wen's 17th medal at the games and that means that he has overtaken David Lim to be second on the all-time list in terms of medals won by male at the sea games Kwa Tsung Wen in what has been a golden decade of male swimming for Singapore typifying that and winning by a country mile almost 15 meters ahead of his nearest rivals would you believe it before we had that schooling in 200 meters butterfly swimming in 2011 no swimmer had dipped below two minutes at the sea games and now we've had two and they're both Singaporeans I mean, I, I think they can break two minutes um, any day that you want them to, right? It's so easy. I mean, they've gotten so much quicker, Chen and Joe. Um, they've done so well for themselves. And just having the two of them together competing against one another really has brought Singapore swimming to another level. I don't know if he's got time to entertain the interviewers at the mix zone because he's got the victory ceremony plus.